As restrictions are slowly lifted and more and more people head to indoor spaces like restaurants and bars, even potentially classrooms, a warning from scientists around the world. There's another way to get the coronavirus that health authorities have been ignoring. From the beginning of the pandemic in the United States was probably six to eight of us were trying to get the message out that this looks airborne to us. Dr. Richard Corsi is an internationally recognized expert on indoor air quality. He's also one of more than 200 scientists from 32 countries who signed an open letter to the World Health Organization, accusing the agency of neglecting one very important way the coronavirus can infect people by becoming airborne and then lingering there. Uh, It's not just close contact and it's not just contaminated surfaces. It's also uh, what I call far field contact, which is essentially uh, if you're not standing three or six feet from a person, but you happen to be in the same crowded restaurant or the same crowded bar or a, or a classroom and you're not near the infector, you can inhale uh, aerosols, droplet nuclei that contain uh, infectious viruses in them. That's because when someone who's infected coughs or even simply talks, tiny droplets are emitted into the air. And if the space is not well ventilated, The levels just keep accumulating and accumulating and accumulating and accumulating to higher and higher levels in that indoor space. The scientists are calling for the World Health Organization to revise its recommendations and warn that these aerosols can potentially infect people so they can take the necessary steps to protect themselves and others. We need to ventilate more. We need to use uh, better filtration systems. We need to use um, uh, ultraviolet radiation in some cases. We should be using portable air purifiers in some cases. And last but not least, we all need to wear face coverings. Even the homemade ones, Dr. Corsi says, will help as long as they fit correctly. And bottom line, he says, we just need to acknowledge this airborne route. Until people understand that, um, we're not going to be doing the things that are the things we need to do to really quash COVID-19 and get it to a place where Uh, where we want to be, where we just don't have as many infections as we do. In Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News.